At the end of this lesson, you will be able to manage access keys using Sumo Logic. From the Sumo Logic interface, you can create and manage your own access keys from the Preferences page. In the left navigation panel, click your name and open the Preferences page. In the My Access Keys section, click Add Access Key. A new window appears titled Create an Access Key. Enter a name for the access key in the Name field. Optionally, here you can define one or more domains that may use the key to access Sumo Logic APIs. Enter a domain in the Allow Listed CORs domain field and click Add. The window updates and displays the domain you added. Repeat the steps to add additional domains to the Allow List. Click Create Key to generate the key. The window displays the generated access ID and the access key. The keys are displayed only once, so it's recommended to copy the keys to a secure password storing environment to retrieve later if needed. After you click Done, as a security measure, you will not be able to view the access key again. On the Preferences page, you can manage your own access keys. If your role grants you the capability, you can manage access keys created by other Sumo users by navigating to the Administration, Security, Access Keys page, which lists all access keys in your account. When you hover over an access key, several controls appear. If you deactivate an access key, Sumo Logic retains the key credentials but renders the key useless. You can reactivate a key at any time to begin using it again. Clicking the pencil icon opens up an Edit Access Key window where you can modify the allow list for the access key. Use the trash can icon to permanently delete the access key. The key will no longer be usable for API calls. However, deleting a key does not affect the collector since it is only used at the time of installation. We hope this video helps you manage access keys in Sumo Logic. Thank you for joining.